Hello, welcome to Source Graphics. Today we're going to be showing you the ProJet Ultra High Definition 3D Modeling System, which will enable you to make the most accurate, high definition, smooth surfaced models from the comfort of your office in just a few hours. In order to make a model, you first want to prepare the system to receive a file and make the model. The plastic material goes in this side. And this is what a cartridge of EX200 plastic material looks like. The next thing you want to do is you want to hold it like this. You want to slide it up into this section right here like so. And then you don't want to drop it. So just lay it in gently like so. The wax goes in on this side. You hold it in a similar fashion. Slide it in like so. And then gently put it down and it's in. On this side over here is uh, a little cubby right here where we keep our plastic baggies. In the middle here, we have where the waste baggie goes, and that's where the material that is scraped off ends up in this baggie right here in the middle. At this point, we want to take out the waste area. This is what it should look like after many builds. The way the plastic bag goes in, it goes in like so, and then you fold it over like so, and then fold it over again on the other end. And we want to be careful putting it in that we put it in seated in the right fashion so that it collects the material. In the back is a female slot where the male piece goes in. So now we've cleaned away the waste from the previous job. We have our material in. Now all we need to do is we need to place in a clean build plate. Lift the door. There's a notch at the back and there's a notch at the front. We're going to slide the notch in the back right into the male piece. And we're going to slide the notch in the front right with the forward clip and then snap it in place. It's ready to go. We close the modeler. Now at this point, we're going to push the play button and that's going to fire up the modeler in the morning. We'll go to the icon here, 3D Modeling Client, which brings up our modeler client manager. Right here is the one we're going to choose. The green light indicates that it's ready to receive a job. So this brings up uh, this window right here. We want to um, submit a job. So that brings up this next window. In this window, you need to first go to the options area. That's going to bring up a couple decisions that you're going to have to make. The most important decision at this point is whether or not you want to print in ultra high def or just standard high def. In this window right here, you're going to make that choice. With this particular one, we chose standard high def. Over here you can verify the STL so we want that checked. We want to enable part placement so we check that. So we say OK. But we need to do this before we bring the model in because once we bring the model in we can't do that window. So always remember to do that window first. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select files and right here we're going to go in and we're going to pull out the source graphics logo clock. So we're going to open this up. So now we've brought in the part. It shows up in this window and we're going to preview it. That brings up the window where you can preview the model. As you can see, the model came in. To get a better feel for how big the model is, I like to do the um, overhead angle. Next thing we want to do is if we want to bring in more models, we go up here to File, Add CAD Files. That brings up our window right here once again. I want to bring in the keychain, Source Graphics keychain file. So that's this file right here. Verify that that's the one. Yep, that's the one. Now if we want to um, multiply this, that's very easy to do. We go over here to the copy button. And in which direction do we want to go? Do we want to go in the X direction, which is this direction? Or do we want to go in the Y direction? Let's go in the Y direction. Let's go point 0.1. Point 0.1 is going to be the uh, space that is going to be between the models. We say apply. It gives us a second model. Apply again. gives us a third model. Apply again gives us a fourth model. As far as orientation on this modeler, um, sometimes you want to offset them by about five degrees in either X and Y to get you a better curved surface result. Because of the shape, there's not a lot of curvature here. Um, we have a lot of flat surfaces rather, so I think we're going to be fine with the orientation that they're in. So now this job is ready to go to the modeler. In order to submit it to the model, we pick File, Submit Job. That brings it into this window here. It tells us our estimated build time, 6 hours and 15 minutes. It's pre-processing the job right now. Oh, 
Okay, so now our models have completed building. So now we're gonna remove our models from the project system. In this window here, you'll see it says remove print. So what we do is we safely and gently raise the door and then we open the class, removing the build plate with the models on it. As you can see, the models are fully cured at this point. There's no further UV curing required. However, we do need to remove the wax supports from the models. We're going to remove the model and the wax supports off of the build plate. The way we do this is we use the ProJet finishing oven. It's a convection oven, it's a laboratory oven, but more importantly, it's an oven that can give us a consistent low temperature. Your standard ovens will not do this. First what we need to do is we need to turn the oven on. We hit our power on and our heater on. Our control panels right here are already pre-programmed for temperature control. You open the system, next thing we do is we pull out the tray. Be careful when handling the tray. It can be hot and uh, burn you, so I recommend that you use a mitt. We put the plate in at an angle on top of the paper towel, and we slide the entire tray in so that it's over the catch basin. Now our models will bake, and slowly the wax will melt off of them, and we'll come back and check it in about 15 minutes to remove the build plate. The wax supports have melted away from the model enough for the model to slide off of the build plate. We're just going to check them, and if the wax is melted off, we're going to put them in the ultrasonic cleaner to take off that last little remaining wax. This one looks pretty good. Ready for the ultrasonic cleaner. The ultrasonic cleaner is full of corn oil. The corn oil acts kind of like a solvent. When the wax is vibrated off the surface of the model, the corn oil takes its place, and then the wax does not adhere back onto the model. We want to set the ultrasonic cleaner at about 50 degrees Celsius, and then when we turn on the ultrasonic, the temperature will slightly raise a little bit above that by virtue of the ultrasonic agitation. Generally speaking, I put them in there anywhere from five minutes to a half hour. Okay, our ultrasonic cleaner has cleaned our parts. You can lift the basket out. At this stage, we'll let the parts just drain them, and then we'll take them over to the sink, and we'll wash them, and you'll see the result. All right, so here we are. Um, we have our model, and we're going to wash it in the sink with Dawn dishwashing soap. Just like you're doing the dishes, you want to swirl it around. What it's going to do is it's going to cut through the corn oil and it's going to leave you with a nice finished model. All the wax has been removed and as you can see, what you're left with is a clean model. The ProJet Ultra High Definition 3D Modeling System enables you to make accurate prototype models from the comfort of your office in just a few hours. For more information on 3D modeling, please contact Source Graphics. Thank you.